Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Welcome to the podcast. Welcome to life. Today we're going to be talking about the number one thing that you can do, the number one thing that you should do, the number one thing that you need to do to meet your dream girlfriend. Or to improve your success with women in general, whatever your goals are with dating with women, this is the number one thing that you need to do. And I am going to just get into it right away. All right, no joking around today, no, uh, no big tangents. I'm not going to go way off the rails here and. Start telling you about, uh, I don't know, telling you some weird stories. I want to get right into what's important here. So what is the number one thing that you need to do, that you should do for success with women? It's very obvious. You all know it. I know it. You know it. Everyone knows it. But we waste hundreds of hours avoiding it we read books we consume all this content which can all be very good for sure it sometimes it's critical certainly it can be very very helpful in terms of improving your skills and finding shortcuts to a better life and certainly with dating so it's all great stuff But it needs to be done with this number one thing, which is to talk to girls. You need to talk to girls. You need to talk to ideally a lot of girls, but you need to talk to girls, okay? Girls, women, whatever you want to call them. This is how you do it. You are standing. Girl is standing. You are in one area. Your feet are on the ground. She's in another area. Her feet are on the ground. Perhaps she is a foot away. Perhaps she's three feet away. Perhaps she's five feet away. Perhaps she's 10 feet away. Wherever she is, you start walking towards her. Then, she sees you, you see her, then you say something, anything, then she says something, now you are talking, that's it, that's all you got to do, that's all you got to do, now this sounds a little ridiculous, sounds like common sense, I already know this, I don't need to hear this, you know, hey, if I, if, you know, like, it, I, like if, I, if it was that easy, I would just go do it. All right, I get it, but I think it needs to be highlighted. It needs to be reminded of, A, how simple it is, and B, how important it is. It is the most important thing. And I see over and 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 over again, whether it's me personally, I still do it sometimes, or it's friends, whoever it is. And it, this takes many, you know, shapes and forms in terms of how this, this plays out. But I see it over and over again where the number one thing that needs to be done is the guy needs to go talk to the girl. And he needs to do this repeatedly. And if he were to do this, his entire life could change. So how do you do it? Where do you get started? Well, the, what I just said, uh, although I was being a little bit, uh, you know, a little 
sarcastic, a little bit, uh, you know, I'm making light of it, making a little fun of it. But if you literally just did what I just said and you did it repeatedly, you would be in a much better position than most other things that you can do. If you are, you know, in a, I guess what we would call a beginner or intermediate stage of success with women, I guess you could say, which pretty much most people are. You know, the only, the only way I could really categorize you as being advanced, I guess, is if you, you pretty much have everything, you have mo most things handled except for just optimizing uh, an, already a, an already successful process that you're, you're able to go through in order to meet women, right? Um, and even then, like I would put myself in that category. I, I don't. I can do. Can do everything. That you would need to do, and I've done it many, many times. But I can always improve things about my life, about myself, to attract and to meet higher quality women, and to uh, get exposure to more people in general in, in my life, friends or women. There's a lot of things that I can do to optimize, but I at least have this part handled for the most part of what I'm saying. But even me, there are times when it creeps up on me where I am not taking as much action as I should, or you know, I make up an excuse of why I don't end up talking to somebody that I'm interested in when I know I, I should be, right? Because I'm, who knows? Who knows what's going on? But so it happens to everybody. But um, if you are, if you are not at a point where, let's put it this way. If you can't go out today, assuming you live in a city or near a city where there's enough population, even a, a decent sized town, where there's enough people that you, there's enough women, there's enough options out there where you can't today, right now, take the next, let's say, two to four hours, maximum, minimum, I don't know, 15 minutes, can't go around your town, go around your city to different areas, whether it's as simple as a grocery store or it's a coffee shop or it's a bar or whatever it is, some conference, go to those locations and meet a girl who's at least the same level of, let's say, attractiveness as you. And I'm not just talking about looks. You know, you could be good looking and she's good looking. Doesn't mean that you are the same, similar level as her. If she is, you know, healthy, fit, happy, and let's say has a good career and you are unemployed, uh, you're good looking, but you don't work out, you're pessimistic, you know. So I'm not talking about being able to, to totally attract women out of your league. That's not what I'm talking about talking about you're at a certain level in your life, you're a certain attractiveness, you're able to meet a girl that is around the same range as you. Within four hours max, let's say, in your town, get her phone number and or hang out with her on the spot. If you can't do that right now, then you are definitely not advanced and you fit into what most people fit into. You are you're, probably average or maybe you're just beginning on a journey of let's say self-development and increasing your skills with women if you will fit into that which most people do so don't feel bad if you do you're one of millions then the number one thing that you can do is go talk 
two girls. Okay. So where do you get started? Again, it's simple as walk over, say something, she says something. Okay. Simple as that. If you need some extra help, really good place to start. Go to confidencedating.com, confidencedating.com. Right now, we, uh, we put out a free, um, it's like an e-report. It's a small, it's a small e-book that targets on that one specific problem of what do I say? What's, a, what's one line I can say? And what we found to be one of the most effective things that you can say. Okay, so go there right now and download that. Just click, uh, just give us your email so we know where to send the send it over to you. Go do that right now. It's uh, we kept it short enough where you can read it really fast and get what you need to do to get moving. So that's that excuse is, is now gone. And now go read that, and now you have something to say. Okay. So what what other excuses do you have? What are they? Are you afraid of getting rejected? Okay. Well, you can still do it even though you're afraid. So that's step one is I get it. I understand the potentially overwhelming anxiety that you might have to go talk to that girl that you see, you have to do it anyways. And the more you do it, the easier it will get. This is how your brain works. Your brain thinks that if you go and do something that is socially unacceptable or potentially could cause some friction within your social network or your tribe or in society in general. That if that if you go and talk to this girl, it might cause some some friction. Because that girl might have a boyfriend, right? That girlfriend might reject you and then other people see it or they hear it. And then you don't look like you have as much value. And so now your perceived value to society, to the group, to your friends, whatever it is, is lowered. And then that decreases your chance of, of survival, right? That's what your brain thinks. That is based on old wiring. That is not relevant anymore, okay? There may have been a time, you know, we could create the theory, and many people have created the theory that when we lived in smaller tribes, if you were to, again, let's say accidentally hit on the, you know, a, a leader's girlfriend or one, wife, one of his women, that then he could become upset with you, you could potentially become a, an outcast of that tribe and now maybe you're kicked out of the tribe and now you have to fend for your own and, and back in the day it's very hard to, to survive socially if you're alone right that none of that's gonna happen now okay you might have some very very mild social uh, consequences of your actions where you know one of your friends makes fun of you or something probably the, the worst that's going to happen um, you might feel bad if you feel you talk to the girl and you get the sense that she doesn't like you but there's no danger there's no actual danger so you have to do go through the process of talking to women enough times to eliminate to reduce that fear because you're actually you're not you're not doing it through trying to trick your brain or through you know telling yourself lies about what's going on in terms of uh, the reality. You are actually using reality. You're using the new reality 
of 2017 or whenever you're listening to this, the current world we're living, you're using that reality to rewire your brain, to tell your brain, hey, this is fine, this is safe, this is acceptable. And then that anxiety, that fear, that that sort of uh, disabling, frozen, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, freak out feelings that you have will fade. They'll potentially never go away, especially with very attractive women. But it, it almost turns into more of an energy at that point. Mike Tyson. Great book, by the way. If you're if you're a Mike Tyson fan at all, even if you're not, man, book call. I think the book's just called Tyson Undisputed Truth, I believe. Phenomenal. One of the best books I've ever read. He just gives it to you straight. Uh, it's just so good. It's very, very honest. Probably the most honest book I've ever read. He has no problem being really vulnerable and telling you really what he's thinking and, and what it, all these different things that have happened in his life, all the way down to like STDs he's had. He, he tells you everything. One part of the book, he talked about fear. He talked about Custom Auto, his trainer, and, and the, the relationship that he had with fear and some of the training that he had and his, his philosophy on it. So he said that Fear, if used properly, is a good thing. And it actually gives you the energy that you need in a fight, for example, to perform at the highest levels. And that makes sense, right? So there's situations in life where, uh, you know, you've, you've heard, I don't know, you've probably heard these situations where there's some type of uh, accident, a tragedy, and somebody goes to help and their strength is all of a sudden twice as what it normally is. You know, I don't know, maybe somebody gets stuck uh, under a car and they lift the car up off of them. You know, I don't know if that's that might be an extreme uh, or exaggeration. I don't know, but you've heard of these different things. Or you're in danger and something's coming at you and you just your reflexes, you just sprint out of the way. Now, a lot of that is just reflex-based. And again, that could then be potentially negative when talking to women because you might have this reflex to like move away but if you can practice using that energy then you can start to uh, control it and use it into your advantage to motivate you to go talk to that girl you know if you didn't have some of those feelings you might just be just totally sort of apathetic and and unmotivated and then you wouldn't have the that push that you need to actually go talk to her right now i understand for most people it's a negative because it's it's overpowering it's not being channeled and used properly so that energy or that those feelings are actually stopping you from talking to her i totally understand that all my point is is as this fear starts to fade and you start to have enough experiences where you go where you can actually overpower some of those feelings and think logically where you go wait a minute i've done this before nothing bad has ever happened the worst that's happened is you know i asked a girl for a number and she said she had a boyfriend and i kind of felt a little bit stupid and i walked away you do enough of those where it's not this overpowering crippling fear and then you just instead have this, this sort of anxiety that you can say, okay, all right, I feel a little weird. I'm a little bit lightheaded, but like I have this energy, this motivation. Let's go talk to her. I've done this before, done it a hundred times. And I know it might not be perfect. I know I could mess up, but I know nothing but that bad is going to happen. Let's just go do this. Let's, let's roll. Let's go do it. So I, I say that to, to give you uh, some hope some light at the end of the tunnel to encourage you to, to just force yourself through the pain to not be a pussy and to just do it anyways. And eventually it will get better and it will get better and better and better. 
the other thing is if you are more advanced and you need to talk to women because you're not, let's say, Leo DiCaprio or something where you, you have more of like inbound marketing. So when you're, if you have a business and you need to, so every business sales is the number one thing. You need to generate sales. You don't have a business. There's, there's two primary ways to get new business. One is outbound and one is inbound. Outbound would be going out, knocking on doors, cold calls, uh, networking, getting in front of people and saying, Hey, I got, you have this problem. Here's this thing. Here's how I can solve it. Then there's inbound marketing where you have, you know, uh, content that you're producing to help people. And if they like it, they can give you their information. They, they call you, the you know, they hear about you, they learn about you and they're, they're coming to you. Successful businesses have both usually. So for you, now if you're Leo DiCaprio with a yacht and you're a movie star, you have a lot more inbound marketing where the only time you'd ever need to even approach a girl is if you really see one that you like and you can go talk to her. And even then it would probably be much easier if she were famous, she knows who you are, right? Unless that's you, you're probably going to have to approach some women, okay? You're going to have to put yourself out there. And... So with that said, even if you are quote unquote advanced where you can do what I was saying, odds are very good. I believe that every single person has this problem that we're talking about. It's just how bad is it? So this number one thing that you can do, talk to girls, common sense. Although it's extremely important for somebody who's not that successful with women right now for people that are successful i guarantee you they have every every single person i believe i guarantee you at least once in a while sees a girl that they should talk to and they don't for whatever reason they make up some reason in their head subconsciously they whatever it might be so this is something every single person can work on including myself all right so that's why it's important. That's, you know, I just wanted to, to, to talk about why it's important to talk about the, the long-term benefits of doing this and the short-term benefits. The short-term benefits are you might meet someone that you like and now you got what you wanted. The long-term benefits are the fear will fade. The anxiety will fade to a degree. You will get better at it by practicing it. And then if you start supplementing those efforts with, again, if you confidencedating.com, I have materials, but specifically if you go and I, the bot, if this is, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, go down uh, to the description below. There's a link. I actually have a link to the specific page. Get that guide. It, it's a quick read. I'll give you exactly, you know, give you something to say right away. The resources are there. So supplementing those efforts with some of the resources uh, that I have, that my company has, and that additional resources that are out, out there, all of that will help you save a lot of time, will hopefully reduce that pain, that anxiety, that fear uh, quite a bit, hopefully, and will get you results m much faster, but also better results. But all of that only works if you are talking to girls. So let's, let's now break down how we can maybe make this a little bit easier. I, be, um, I believe I talk about this in the, again, the, uh, that short ebook that we have on confidencedating.com. I go about this, I go, I discuss this in great detail and great depth in, uh, in one of the products that we have if you're interested in that, it's not yet released, but we have a draft version. Uh, if you want me to send you, uh, I'll send it to you just real cheap uh, as a draft version. If you want to shoot me a, a message or leave a comment. Again, if this is on Facebook, uh, YouTube, leave a, leave a comment down on there. I can send it to you. But there's things that you can do to 
create a repeatable process to make this easier. This is one of the things that you can do. One of the things you can do is instead of thinking about going up and talking to a girl as this big event, to break it down into a smaller, less important event. So instead of thinking about this as, I'm going to go talk to a girl to try to get her to like me and then try to get her number so I can go on a date so then hopefully I can get a girlfriend because I'm lonely and crying and my soul is bleeding out into the street and my life is pure hell. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully it's not that bad. I'm just messing around. But it could be. It certainly could be that bad. But instead of, um, instead of thinking about it to that depth, it can just be, I'm going to go say hello to every girl that I like, that I see. I'm just going to say hello or I'm going to say one, or, one thing. And if they then respond and I have something else to say, I'll respond. Or if they ask me a question, I'll answer it. But if not, I'm just going to say that one thing to meet that person and just leave it at that. And then maybe I'll see them again at some point and, and we can talk more. Or maybe they, are, maybe they want to talk to me and I'm giving them an opportunity to talk to them because girls aren't going to approach you for the most part. It happens, but for the most part. So I'm giving them an opportunity to talk to me. If they want to talk to me, they can and they can ask me questions. But at a minimum, just to be a nice, friendly person and to work on this, this fear that I have. So what this could look like is going up and asking a girl what time it is. Going up to a girl and saying, how's your day going? Um, asking the girl or noting something situational. So you're at the grocery store and... A girl is holding a um, a, a, a jar of peanut butter, and you say, "Is that a good brand of peanut butter?" You ask just a basic, normal question. You're not hitting on her. You're not trying to do anything. But what you've done, although it's so small and it's so simple, it is massive in terms of you moving forward with your life and getting successful women, which is you did the number one thing. You talked to the girl. There's so much benefit that you can get out of just saying one thing, one sentence to a girl. And then if you want, you can just walk away. Oh, what brand of peanut butter is that? Oh, yeah, is that a good one? I'm not really sure which one to get. Oh, yeah, this one's good. This is my favorite. Oh, cool. Thank you. Well, hope you have a good day. Walk away. Can you do that? I believe anybody can do that. Now, I understand if you're really shy, uh, if you have a lot of social anxiety, just that, just what I just described, could be still extremely painful. I understand that. But I truly believe that anybody can push themselves to do that one thing if as long as you keep it that simple. Hey, do you know what time it is? Uh, it's 2 o'clock. Oh, okay, thank you. Have a good day. Walk away. I, I, I believe even people with the most crippling social anxiety can force themselves to do that. You might have to keep, you might have to work at it. You know, earlier I talked about the whole, let's you know, take four hours and go, can you, you know, um, take four hours. Try for four hours. If you can get one, if you, depending on where you're at, again, if, if you have really bad issues with this, then take four hours and see if you can ask a girl what time it is. I believe that you can do it. If you need some extra help, find a friend and have them push you to do it. Uh, make a bet with them, you know, make it fun, whatever it might be. But if you can break it down and keep it really, really simple, and you can just get that one thing done, then what it's, the benefits are gonna be massive. If you're really, uh, really novice, then it's again gonna help you with reducing anxiety. It's gonna help you with 
getting working on that the, the, the whole fear thing it's going to give you some experiences that, you, that will start to rewire your brain it will sh prove to you that women aren't going to pull out a gun and stick it in your mouth because you talk to them great benefit for those people for people that are a little more intermediate probably what's going to happen is you're going to get past that initial discomfort and anxiety you say one thing to her as long as you're somewhat normal you don't smell bad and all that basic stuff she'll probably just be nice to you at least you know i'd say 80 percent of the time the girl will probably just be a normal friendly nice person and then you'll realize, whoa, I'm in it. I jumped in the pool. I'm in the water now. Holy shit. Well, I'm already in the water. Might as well swim around a little bit. And you'll go, well, all right. And you'll you'll just, you'll, you'll probably instinctually ask another question and get a little bit of a conversation going and realize like, wait, wait a minute. I, you know, that this is, I can do this. This isn't bad. And you might end up getting her number. You, who knows what will happen? At the bare minimum, you'll probably be kicking yourself saying, man, I wish I talked to her a little bit more. I wish I asked for a number because that wasn't that bad. But you, you can't ha get that, that mindset in place unless you actually went and did it. If you never went and talked to her, you're going you're gonna to go, ah, oh, she probably had a boyfriend. Ah, oh, I'm too busy today. Ah, oh, I don't have time to talk to her. Ah, oh, it's just weird, right? So you go from those kinds of self-thoughts to... A new self thought of, man, I probably should have talked to her a little bit longer. Man, I wonder if I asked for her number, if she would have given it to me. Man, I wonder if I said, hey, come meet me and my friends this weekend. She would, if she would have came, what could have happened? What would have happened, right? And if you're more advanced, this uh, might get you to talk to more women that you are very attracted to instead of potentially making excuses or shying away. Uh, because if you're at that level where you're, you're trying to basically meet the best possible girl you, you can and you're trying to find like a really high quality girlfriend or something, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to probably get a good volume of talking to, you know, very attractive, um, very quality women who, you know, a lot of them will have boyfriends or be in relationships or be busy or get a lot of attention from men. So they might not, they might not, uh, it might be, a, might be a lot more difficult. So you might have to get a, a more higher quantity of them, right? So if you only work up the confidence to talk to one out of three of them, it's going to take you three times as long to meet a really good one. So great benefit for everybody, no matter where you're at, to do this. And uh, that's it. Hopefully I've sold you on uh, taking some action here. I hope you do start taking some action. Again, confidencedating.com. I've got some resources there. Check out um, the number one line or number one thing that you can say. Number one attraction line that you can use. You can start using today to get rid of that excuse of I don't know what to say. It'll... it'll just let's just get rid of that right now okay so you get that read it take you i don't know you could probably skim through it in five ten minutes uh, if you really want to go through it and think it through it might take uh like 30 minutes get that get that get get equipped with what you need and then you gotta start doing this you gotta start doing this so start as soon as possible if you're not already. And if you already are doing it, do it more. And if you're doing it enough, which you're then in a very small percentage of people, and congratulations for being a freaking winner in life, and you're still not having the success you want, then it, now it probably is, okay, now you do need to, uh, you know, there's other things that you need to work on. So work on those things. And, that, and, then, and, and um, you know, there probably, there probably is a lot of, like our content that you that would probably help you a lot with that as well but uh for most people check it out confidencedating.com and anything else 
feel free to uh, shoot me a message. Feel free to comment or uh, just shoot me a message if there's anything that we talked about today here that where you feel like there's still a roadblock or it's like, yeah, that makes all that makes sense. That's great. But you don't understand. There's this thing. Send that all to me because I want to I want to go through. I might even make a video or something where I just go through all these excuses. I just want to I want to just rebuttal them all because it's all bullshit. It's all bullshit. OK, there's legitimate things that you can do to improve yourself. Great. If you don't know what those are, you need to figure them out and you need to start working on them. But in terms of the excuses or the, you know, my situation's different. It's all, 99% of the time, it's all bullshit. It's all just stuff you're saying in your head. Now, there's different people that have different challenges and they're at different points. If somebody is more extroverted and more funny naturally. It's going to be a lot easier for them. But... In terms of getting some results, some results is so much better than what most people are doing, which is no results. So who cares if it's easier for someone else? Who cares if someone's better looking? Who cares if uh, somebody is, you know, they're able to go to college and you couldn't afford going to college. And because they're at college, you're able to eat more people, uh, meet more people. Who cares? You can't control that. Yeah, it will be easy for, for people that have some of those advantages. That doesn't take away from the fact that you can still do what you can do. And then you can still get some results. And those results are incredible, are excellent, are fantastic compared to no results. Because no results is shitty life. It's loneliness. It's uh, lack of self-esteem. It's lack of confidence. It's no motivation. It's um, not realizing your potential. It's not meeting awesome people that can you can joke around with and have fun with and be happy with. It's your own happiness in life. So you got to get this handled. And if it is already handled to a degree... Let's take it to the next level. All right? So, again, shoot me comments. Let me know if you can't do this, if you can't go and talk to girls right now or tonight or tomorrow, or the next time you see a girl standing in line at freaking Chipotle or whatever it is, and she's standing next to you, or you're in the grocery store, and she's standing next to you, or you're uh, at a bar, and she's standing in front of you, and just made eye contact with you. If you can't go over and, and say one sentence to her, tell me why. I want to know why. And then let's figure out a solution for all of those excuses, for all of those reasons why you can't do it. Let's just... Let's break it all down. Let's figure it out. All right? Because I guarantee you, again, 99% of the time, it's just bullshit in your head. All right. Hope you enjoyed yourself today. I did. Hopefully, this was helpful. And if it wasn't helpful, that's fine, too. Let me know. Tell me that I suck, and I will. And tell me what you want to hear. Tell me how I can make it helpful. All right, have a beautiful evening, beautiful morning, beautiful afternoon, whenever you're listening to it. If you're listening to this live right now, it is the evening, the sun is setting, and it's a beautiful night. And you are beautiful people. Goodbye.